everyone, welcome to another Go Mojo Go video. Uh, we're back here. I want to do another uh, engine swap video because this is absolutely going to be bonkers. I've got the Sylvia Q S13 1988, and if you go into the tuning parts and you have the compatible motor, in this case the LS7 BRZ, check out the increase in stats that this car will get. It will jump from a 1.8 litre to 7.8. Weight will increase by 90 kilos, but look at the power jump from 165 brake horsepower to 1037. Wow, that's uh, a five times, more than five times, or no, about five times increase in power. Probably a bit less, four, four and a half, something like that. Don't, don't trust my math. Um, and you got the max torque increasing from 18.6 to 121. Look at this weight to power ratio from 5.31 kilos per horsepower to 0 0.93 kilos. That's freaking mental, absolutely mental. I'm not going to install that just yet. Like I did my last video, I'm going to take this car for a bit of a spin, uh, see what sort of lap times I can get. Uh, as far as car settings, it's all the stock, except I put it in racing softs because I figure once I put in this big engine, I'm gonna need as much grip as I can. Uh, I think the transmission will probably need to be tuned uh, to get the most out of the new engine. I'm not going to do that because, hey, I don't really know how to do that. Uh, I'm just going to leave everything stock. And we'll see how drivable it is with this beast once it's uh, uh, installed. But right now, let's just go Let's go do a time trial. Um, I am in the mood for going to the Americas uh, and trying out the new one of the new tracks, the... Uh, Watkins Glen, but this time we're going to, I've just driven the long version, but I'm going to just do the shorter version, the short course. It's just, uh, I just want to get some time comparisons. I don't really want to do the full lap, uh, considering how probably mental it is going to be to drive anyway. So let's just put in a few laps in this uh, Sylvia, and then we'll go back, install the new engine and do a bit of a comparison run. Um, all right, so let's get started here. Um, please don't use this as a track guide. I don't really know this track very well. I'm just going to cruise around as best as I can, get some times in. Uh, hopefully nothing too embarrassing. So yeah, we'll do a few laps, and what I might do is cut to the end and see what time I, I get, and then we'll jump in and change that motor. So yeah, I'll be uh, right back in just a minute. One twenty point five. All right, very good. All right, let's go in and change this engine. All right, we're back in the garage. Let's go. This is exciting. I can't wait to see how this uh, drives. So putting on this piece, this is amazing. A thousand horsepower once we got this installed. And let's get this baby in. And um, if we go to the car settings, you'll see I've got the engine, new engine in there, the LS7 BRZ. And here we are, 1037 horsepower. Not changing anything else. Um, to be fair, with the racing softs, I probably should have changed the, nat uh, the natural frequency to something a lot, a lot higher to match the tire type. But I'm going to leave it as it is. Uh, I think the gearbox needs to be tuned with this as well but we'll see how we go let's go jump back into Watkins in that short course and see how this car drives can't wait this is exciting all right here we go we can already hear the motor it sounds absolutely mean like it means business that's how mean it sounds like all right Really gentle the throttle. So the wheels want to spin like crazy. Got traction control on. It's the only way I can keep this car on track. Uh, the wheels are so... They scream when you put the throttle all the way to the floor. So I'm going to have to... As you can see, do not put throttle input even on the slightest bend. Because we will lose the rear end. Okay, note taken. We can 
just hear the wheel spin. That's it's mental. All right, we're approaching the uh, chicane. We'll stop, break at the 600 meter board. I think we've got it under control. Very gentle throttle. Short shift a bit so we don't lose the rear end. It's very gentle the throttle. We've straightened it up. It's planted. And even now I can feel the rear end getting loose. It's just brake. That's the only way you can do it. Brake hard again. Trying to hit the safe fix. Alright, nice and gentle throttle, here we go. Whoa, the rear end just goes even on the straight line. Oh, try and break 450 meter board. Oh, and even then that's a bit of a struggle to pull it up. Short shift, trying to avoid wheel spin. Let's see if we can just hang on for dear life through here. Really gentle throttle. What is it? 600 meter board. Break the 600 meter board. All right, just to let off the throttle or the brake, I should say. See how gentle I can be through here. Well, almost lost it there. All right, plant it. Even so, I'm still at 80%. Break a bit early. Break hard again. We'll drop it down to third. Short shift. Oh man, I just can't go full power. Because it will lose the rear end, even in the straight line. It's like you're doing a drag race. You just have to throttle, feather the throttle so much. And I've got on traction control on TC1 as well. Uh, it's just undrivable without traction control. Well, I certainly can't drive it without traction. Uh, where are we again? 600. Oh, bit of drift action, that's right, put it. Wheels are screaming. I, I'd hate to be the wheels right now. They'd be red hot. Well, maxed out, got had to let off there. Take it nice and easy. In fact, we might try and stay in fourth here. Missed the apex, so on. Holy moly, there you go. Definitely don't apply the throttle unless you're going in a straight line. And even then, it's sketchy as. Am I going to make it? Yes, made it properly this time. Short shift, short shift again. Only applying throttle in a straight line as much as I can. Alright, well, it's a 600 meter board. That's a lot better there. Take it nice and gentle. Alright, let's put it down to fifth. Even then, at 80%. Right. Oh, I'm not going to make it. Yeah. All right, I think this is as good as I'm going to get, I reckon. 113.5. Uh, and I did 121 on the regular motor, so there you go. So much more power, so much potential in this thing. Uh, Special Sage Route X is probably the best place to give this car a go. To see how quick you can make it go. If you tune the uh, gearbox well enough, um, 
yeah, I think this could approach even the Tomahawk. Would it, could it match a Tomahawk? I don't know. That might, might be worth experimenting. Uh, but yeah, this is great. No, I'm pretty sure the Tomahawk will win quite easily, to be honest. But this is an insane combo with this motor uh, in the Sylvia. Man, it just wants to fight you every second that you're behind the wheel. And do you want to learn throttle control? Maybe this is the combo you need to get all those bad habits out of your system. So anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, definitely recommend trying this combo if you have the engine. Uh, the car is pretty cheap to buy, so that's not a problem. It's just getting the engine on the uh, wheel. But yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Um, have a good day, folks. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you next time as I go into the Shadow Realm. There you go. Alright, take it easy, guys. See ya.